Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's uh, trading session, the 6th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see exactly where we stand. Asian markets overnight, pretty lackluster. We have the Shanghai really the only one that's uh, certainly higher. The uh, Nikkei down 0.4% and the Hang Seng down overnight as well. European session, we have the FTSE down 50 odd points, down touching that uh, 7300 zone. The DAX certainly under pressure as well, down 100 points on the back of uh, talk of um, raising rates. We certainly had two conflicting opinions, although Mr. Korea has certainly balanced things out so far. Uh, in terms of the CAC as well, uh, down 50 points, the FTSE MIB down, and the IBEX down as well. So certainly under pressure on the back of uh, the yield spiking in Germany, the 10 year. Okay, or you can see the German bonds if I just bring up the chart of the bonds for you folks. Here we go, German bond. You can see here certainly uh, falling and therefore yield spiking. And in turn, obviously, that's hurting the Eurozone. Now, the daily chart is showing you that the uh, bonds are in support now. So you should see some sort of a stabilization or a top in the Euro. Okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you should see a top and a potential stabilization in the euro. Okay, so bonds certainly under under pressure here, as you can see, uh, and that certainly is contributing to the uh, spike in yields, which in turn obviously is forcing the euro higher, which in turn obviously is hurting European equities. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo at present. In terms of economic data this morning, let's just quickly go through. You had the Australian data certainly coming out stronger than expected. The trade surplus certainly beating. German factory orders certainly coming on the weaker side. Switzerland... Uh, uh, the CHF certainly uh, coming in weaker as well in terms of the uh, CPI data. Mr. Williams' speech, we had nothing really of any major importance. Mr. Priyat's speech, again, was the one that neutralised the previous uh, Villaroy speech, okay, in terms of talking about potential rates. And that certainly remains the status quo. Now, we're looking forward to US data. Let's see exactly how that uh, uh, certainly uh, transpires and see how the market reacts uh, from there. In terms of uh, the technical picture, let's just quickly go to our technicals. German DAX at the moment is going, is certainly moving lower, and I've actually closed that gap now, folks. Okay, so gap fill. We're certainly into support on the German DAX. The daily chart, like I said, has that key diagonal trend line resistance, so keep an eye out for that. 10 minute chart, let's just go to your 10 minute, and you'll see that you are certainly into gap fill. You're into that 200 MA support as well, so certainly looking at double bottom support on the German DAX, certainly uh, looking at closing and uh, certainly looking to potentially move higher. That's my interpretation thus far. In terms of the French CAC, uh, the French CAC at the moment, again, close a gap into horizontal support, 60 minute chart, double bottom. So again, looking for potentially holding that and certainly looking to move higher. The daily chart of the French CAC at the moment, back into previous resistance equals support, although there is that gap fill at 5060, certainly need to be made aware of that, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, certainly a double bottom scenario here uh, as we stand. Uh, certainly looking at holding that potential double bottom gap fill certainly has closed as well with pivot s3 so everything is indicating a potential move higher from my interpretation especially in the daily chart you are now into support so we are looking to potentially bounce at this juncture in terms of the euro stocks last but not least let's just quickly go to that back to gap fill again on daily charts so again looking at potentially holding double bottom support uh, i think 10 minute chart certainly has closed that gap and therefore will act as potential support. So certainly looking for a move higher on the euro stocks as well. Okay, so that's your status quo. That's your status quo at present, folks. Okay, that's where we stand. And uh, European equity is certainly set for a potential rally, given the fact that the bonds are now into support. Uh, euro, USD, let's just bring that for you as well. Certainly an impressive rally, uh, to say the least. But we are now coming into resistance here around the 1.1390 zone on the euro, USD. Okay, so that certainly um, is, uh, is a summation of European equities. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and visit TradeSignal for the latest app, which can be downloaded via Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.